Well, it's the question we're going to be asking all day today. Is the hot labor market finally turning around? We have the September jobs port report today and markets have gotten very excited about some signs of the U.S. labor market loosening. Our markets editor Valerie Titel is here to take us through the charts, showing the glimpses of the hopes and the arguments against it. Valerie, take it away. Thanks, Danny. Today's number is a big number. We heard from Powell at the September FOMC meeting reiterating that it's not really growth that's going to impact the outlook for inflation. It's the tightness of this labor market. Today's number is going to be huge. I wish everyone luck trading through this. I don't want to be in your seat. Okay, now let's take a step back and look at the signs of loosening that the market's gotten so excited about this week. The first one was Tuesday's JOLTS data, where we saw the ratio of job openings to unemployed persons falling from 2 to one point. This was something that Powell specifically mentioned in his testimony and in his questions, uh, this number of, of two. And, and, and on Tuesday when we saw it fall, the market got very excited. We saw a huge risk rally. But analysts say you have to take a step, a step back and look at the last six months of this number. It's been highly elevated. This chart shows it, shows it perfectly. These numbers we're talking about, whether it's two or 1.7, those are especially elevated. And it's going to be a push onto wage growth uh, in, in the few months coming forward. As we know that wage growth is still sitting at around 5% uh, year on year. Let me take you to another chart, another sign of uh, maybe, maybe not, are we, are we loosening? Jobless claims. Yesterday, jobless claims came in above expectations for the first time in nine weeks, as this chart clearly shows. You can see these blue, these blue boxes have been uh, coming in below expectations for a while. Um, the number was above the, the 200K handle at two, 219. Again, is this another sign of a crack? Yeah, you, you can read a lot into that, but you have to take a step back and realize that jobless claims at a four-week moving average at around 200K is especially strong. Into the last two recessions, we saw prints 350, 375 before, before the growth slowdown started to happen. One more chart, which is putting the big headline number into perspective. Uh, the estimates today are for 255. However, look back at the last Last five months, the survey has topped estimates. It's in, the resiliency of the labor market has again and again surprised us, surprised Powell. And look, the whole world is waiting for these cracks in the U.S. labor market to start. We, we, the, the financial system is straining at, at uh, the more aggressive and aggressive the Fed is going to be. Uh, we heard from Daly last week saying that the bar is high for us to pivot. Um, it's not just going to take one month of a soft print, but it's going to take multiple. And hey, we look forward to um, uh, next Thursday's CPI print. Again, core CPI is expected mm -hmm. to, tip, to, to tick up from 6.3 to 6.5. I just really think the market is getting way too excited about the, this, this loosening that they can be uh, reading through, and they really need to take a step back, look at where we're coming from. We have a long way to go.